Good evening. We are starting uh, the session number three of this. Good evening. Good evening of this week number three. So we are going to start with this session. Um, making a review of the knowledge check. So we are going to complete the knowledge check that we have on the platform. Um, we are going to um, see a video uh, in which they are talking about the three word phrase or verbs because we have an exercise there. It's a short exercise um, in which we are going to um, read some sentences and then we are going to talk about the three word phrase or verbs and we are going to see what are um, those words and also we are going to uh, have more examples about the three word phrase or verbs and if we have time we are going to talk about the next topic <clears throat> because we have um, another exercise and if we have time we are going to um, talk about making suggestions but in that case it's like we are going to um, to see if we have time to complete uh, that part because we are going to talk about um, the three word phrase or verbs we are going to perform some exercises and then we are going to like listen a conversation related to making suggestions and we are going to have a practice. <clears throat> Remember that tomorrow is the last day of this week number three. So you need to complete your, um, your activities on the platform uh, on time because the next week is the last one. So you need to um, be careful with that. So if you are not working on the platform, you need to, to do it. But we are going to wait a little bit for the others because we are going to see the knowledge check and we are going to read the exercises that we have there, um, the sentences, and we are going to choose the correct answer um, for the exercises that we have uh, there. So we are going to wait like uh, two minutes because um, in two minutes it's going to be eight. So we're going to wait a little bit for the others and then we're going to go um, to the platform and then we're going to uh, continue with the topic. Yesterday we were talking about or we were using get and a have uh, to talk about the things that we want uh, someone else to do for us. Um, so that was the topic that we were performing uh, performing yesterday, in which we have a lot of uh, information about that structure and how to use get and uh, and have, and also we were like talking about um, that in that case we we just have the the get and the have, but also you can use a different. Uh, um, like structures and also you can have different chances in which you can use those, um, those words to express um, your ideas about uh, having things done for other uh, people in this case. And we were like um, seeing some examples in which we were talking about the different uh, people uh, in which we can have like this kind of activities done uh, we were talking about the dentist, the optician, the mechanic. Um, we were talking about deliveries. Um, we were talking about also um, beautician uh, service, a different kind of services. And uh, that was the main point or the main part of the topic about the get and have something done. So. It's eight o'clock, so we are going to begin with the work on the platform. We are going to see the knowledge check in the section number four. We are going to see 4.2, that is the first knowledge check of that section. So we are going to go to the platform. Uh, 
And we have here the exercises, or in this case, the information that we have um, about this topic, because this one is related to, um, to get and have. So in this case, we are going to see what are the things that we need to do. In this case, it says, imagine you want to have someone else um, or someone do these things for you. Choose using active form of have and get. So in this case, we need to um, imagine that you need some things done for you and you need to choose the correct answer for those situations. The first one is shorten my skirt. And we have two options. Number one, do you know do, do you know where I can get someone to shorten my skirt? Or the option number two, do you know where I can get someone to shorten my skirt? So for the first one, what is the best option? The number one. Do you know where I can someone to shorten my skirt? Okay. Number one. Okay, we are going to mark number one. Number two, cut my hair. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Or do you know where can I have someone to cut my hair? Do you know where I can I get someone to cut my hair? Okay, we are going to mark number one. Let's continue. Number three, repay my watch. Do you know where I can get someone to repay my watch? Or do you know where I can have someone to repay my watch? Do you know where I can get someone to repay my watch? My watch. Okay. Number one. Number one. We're going to mark number one. Number four. Fix my scooter. Do you know where I can get someone fixing my scooter? Or do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? So in this number, case, number two. Number two, we are going to mark number two. Next one, take my passport photo. Do you know where I can get someone to take my passport photo? Or do you know where I can has a, someone to take my passport photo? Uh, number one. Do you know where I can get someone to take my, my passport photo? Okay, number one. Do you know where I can get someone to take my passport photo? Next one. Massage my neck. Do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? Or do you know where I can have someone to massage my neck? Do you know where I get someone to massage my neck? Okay, number one, I guess. So we're going yes. to mark this one. Next one, number seven, clean my leather jacket. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my leather jacket? Or number two, do you know where I can have someone to clean my leather jacket? Number two. Do you know what I can have someone to my jack? Okay, number two. And the last one, number eight. Take care of my pets while I am away. Number one, do you know where I can get someone that take care of my pets while I'm away? Or do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets while I am away? Number two, do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets? Okay, number two. So let's check these uh, answers. And we have all of them correct. So here we have the answers. So for the ones that um, don't have this knowledge check done, you have the opportunity to see what are the answers in, uh, in this part. So we're going to make a little review and then we're going to continue with the video. So for the number one, we have, do you know where I can get someone to join my skirt? Number two, do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Number three, do you know where I can get someone to repay my watch? 
Number four, do you know where I can uh, have someone to fix my scooter? Number five, uh, do you know where I can get someone to take my passport photo? Number six, do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? Number seven, do you know where I can have someone to clean my leather jacket? And the last one, number eight, do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets while I am away? So those are the answers for these exercises or this knowledge check that is related to the topic, uh, get and have something done. So we are going to continue in this case and we are going to see the following video. And this one is related to the vocabulary and the topic that we are going to develop in a couple of minutes. And it is related to the three word phrasal verbs. So we're going to see the explain. I mean, we're going to listen the explanation of the three word phrasal verbs, and we're going to have an exercise. And in this exercise, you're going to see a couple of sentences and we're going to uh, pause the video and you are going to think about the answer that you can give to those a sentences. So in that case, we're going to begin with the video. So we are going to pay attention, but let me see if I can, but I need to stop this one because I do something wrong with the screen. Okay. Okay, pay attention to the information and then we're going to have or uh, make the exercise. Happen and Hi, as you know and recall, we use phrasal verbs a lot in English. This time we'll show you a list of three words phrasal verbs that you may use when talking about services and dating. Work with me and stay and find out what we want you to do. Listen to the following list of three phrasal verbs. Then I will use them in a sentence so you have a better idea of what they mean. Take some time to make sense of them. Essay at the end and see if you got the meaning right. Broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, take care of. Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I'll get it done professionally. My doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with his students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. I can't put up with the noise on my street. I'll have to move. My girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They're always fighting. Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage his money. Okay, in this case, we have these sentences. And in the first part, you can see the phrase or the phrasal verb. In this case, there are three word phrasal verbs. The first one, broken up with, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, and take care of. So in this case, we have the sentences. We have eight sentence. And we're going to read again the sentence. And then you are going to think about the, um, the meaning. What is the meaning of the phrasal verb in those sentences? And then I'm going to hear your answers or the, the things that you think they mean. And then we're going to see like uh, the meanings of the phrasal verbs. So we're going to read again the, the sentences and then you are going to have time to think about the meaning. And then I'm going to show you the meaning that they are like explaining at the end of this video. So we have number one and it says, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again. Number two, 
Kevin came up with a great idea for our class reunion. Number three, I'm not looking forward to typing my essay. Maybe I will get it done professionally. Number four, my doctor says I'm overweight. I should cut down on fatty foods. Rob can keep up with the students in his Mandarin class. He should get a tutor. Number six, I can put up with the noise on my street. I will have to move. Number seven, my girlfriend doesn't get along with her roommate. They are always fighting. And number eight, Bill can take care of his own finances. He has an accountant manage um, his money. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. I mean, um, I will give you two or three minutes to think about the meaning of the uh, phrasal verb in these sentences. And then you are going to tell me what are the meaning that you think it is um, related to the sentence. And then we're going to see the other part of the video. So we're going to have two, two or three minutes to think about the meanings of the uh, phrasal verb that we have on the screen. So let's think about it. No, in this case, we're not like uh, type the answers. In this case, you're going to tell me uh, what are the answers that you have. So for that reason, I was like giving you a couple of minutes. But in this case, we're going to begin with the number one. Uh, we have an idea on the chat and it says broken up with is when someone end up his or her relationship. So in the first one, uh, Jennifer has broken up with her boyfriend again, is to end uh, the relationship that they have. 
In the number two, what is the meaning that you give to that uh, to that phrasal verb? As far as I know, is like to have a an idea of something. Hmm. To have an idea, came up with. Mm -hmm. It could be a, a good idea. Thank you. Number three. For the number three, what is the meaning that you give? In my opinion, could be when you are eager to get something. Mm, it could be another idea. Expect something. Expect something, mm, maybe. Okay, number four. In this case, you are just giving your ideas. Then we are going to see the other meanings that they are like proposing. So in this case, don't worry about that. So for the number four, put down on. Is to reduce something. To reduce, to reduce. Okay, to reduce something. Um, number five, keep up with. It is to continue doing something? Mm, it could be, because in that case it says, can keep up with the students. So in that case it's like uh, the continuation or something. Number six, I can put up with the noise. And in this case, tell me, Jenny. No, okay. In this case, it will be like a stand something. But we are going to see. And the number seven, my girlfriend doesn't get along with. To have a good relation. Okay, to have a good relationship with someone, good. And the number eight, Bill can take care of. Okay. We're going to read the meanings that they have, but in this case, um, we can see here. Let me see if we can move. In this one, they uh, give the meanings. Be excited for some. In this case, they are just uh, given in a different order. So I'm going to have this scream, and I'm going to read the meanings that they are giving. And in this case, we are going to see in which of the phrases um, is the best option. So I'm going to read the number one and you are going to tell me if this one is related to number one, number two, number three, or number eight. So the first meaning that they have is be excited for something to happen. Be excited for something to happen. In this case, what is the best option or in which of the sentence is uh, related this one? In the number three. Number three, I'm not looking forward to type my uh, essay. Maybe I will get done professionally. Be excited for something to happen. It could be, it is a good idea. Next one, in a romantic relationship. 
end a romantic relationship? The first one. The first one. That's good. The first one. Next one. Keep pace with someone or something. Or in this case, we can say like, uh, keep peace, like peace with someone or something. Number seven. Number seven, get along with, it could be. Um, then tolerate something you don't like. Tolerate something you don't like. Six. Number six, I can put up with. But in this case, it's like. Number seven. Also, we can use it in the number seven. If we have like two different options in this case. Then reduce the quantity of something. Reduce the quantity of something. The number four. Number four. Uh, in this one, we have um, this uh, meaning, have a good relationship with someone. Number one. In this case, it's better for number seven. My girlfriend. Mm -hmm. It could be better with that one. And the next one, we uh, be responsible for something. Be responsible for something. So number eight. Number eight, because he can take care of his own finance. And the last one, think of something, develop an idea. Numbers two. Number two. Kevin came up with a great idea. Good. So we're going to listen the sentences and we're going to continue with this topic. So let's continue with this part that we were developing. Money. Be excited for something to happen and a romantic relationship. Keep pace with someone or something. Tolerate something you don't like. Reduce the quantity of something. Have a good relationship with someone. Be responsible for something. Think of something. Develop an idea. Can you choose three phrase offers from the list? And Now, we are going to develop the topic because we were like um, seeing some uh, phrasal verbs uh, in that uh, video. Um, in that case, you can now uh, understand that they are like phrases with three different parts in that case. So now we are going to see what are they what are the uses? And also we are going to have some exercises. I mean, some examples of the three word phrasal verbs. And we are going to have an exercise, just one exercise. So we're going to go to the uh, document. We're going to continue with the, the topic. So let's go. Okay, here we have the topic that is three word phrasal verb. And in this case, it says that some uh, phrasal verbs have three parts and they are inseparable. 
And we are going to see a list of the most common three word phrase verbs. But in this case, um, we are uh, saying that in this case, we have these uh, phrasal verbs that have three different elements or three different parts, but uh, they cannot function in a separate way. They have to be together to function as a phrasal verb. So in that case, they are um, a part of the same element. So we're going to see the list of the phrasal verbs and we are going to have like the phrasal verb and also uh, we are going to have the meaning and um, an example of the, uh, of the phrasal verb in context. So we're going to have like three elements in the same uh, phrasal verb. So we're going to begin with the first one that is breaking on. Break me on. And this one means to break on is to interrupt. And in this case, we are talking about a conversation. So this one, breaking on, is to interrupt when someone is having a conversation, when someone is talking. So in that case, we're going to use that phrasal verb. And we're going to see the example. It says, I was talking to Susie when James broke in on our conversation. So here we have again the phrasal. Next one. Touch up with. Touch up with. In this case, it's, uh, because um, some of the phrasal verbs is like very easy to understand. So in some cases, we're not going to have like a long uh, meaning. In this case, uh, catch up with means like know something or be like in context. So, so in that case, it's like, to be in context with something, or we can say also to uh, keep abreast. Like we can say, yes, be on time with the things. I mean, I'm going to write it. Keep abreast. And we have the example. As I was holidaying,
I couldn't touch up with the news. So in this case, in Spanish, we can say like, eh, estar al día, ¿verdad? En este caso es como, como estaba vacacionando, no podía estar al día con las noticias. So in that case, it's like, eh, we're going to have that meaning for eh, catch up with or keep abreast. That means estar al día. Next one, check up on, check up on, check up on. This one is like examine or investigate something. And in this one, we have two different, um, Two different examples. He has agreed to check up on the condition of the holiday house from time to time. In the second one, we have an we have employed a person to check up on the condition of our ancestral home from time to time. So in this case, they are like talking about someone that is going to um, check on the condition um, of the houses. So in that case is that meaning uh, of the uh, phrase over check up on is to examine or investigate or check on. So in that case, that is the meaning. Next one. Come up with, come up with. This one means to come up with is to contribute a suggestion or money. In this case, we are talking about that a give, like um, a contribution or about a suggestion is to give a suggestion about a topic or to give money to someone. So in the example, we have, can you come up with a better idea? Can you come up 
can you come up with a better idea? So in this case, it's a suggestion. Then the next one. It says, cut down on, cut down on. But give me a moment, I am not marking the other um, phrasal verbs. In this case, I need to mark this one. This one. And this one. Okay. So put down on means curtail or reduce. Curtail or reduce. And the example. It says she must cut down on the money she is spending on cosmetics. She must cut down on the money she is spending on cosmetics. Drop out of, drop out of. This one means leave a school, leave a school. And in this case, it's not just a going out, like um, going out of the school and come back the other day. In this case, it's like a leaving a school and not coming back to the uh, to that place. So we have the example. He dropped out of a school before uh, the end of the term. Next one, get along with. This one is uh, one of the words or the phrasal verb that we were uh, using on the, um, the exercise that we were seeing on the video. So this one is, is familiar with the information. We were like listening in that, in that video. So in this case, we have get along with get along with. And this one means have a good relationship with, have a good relationship with. And we have the example. I find it hard to get along with my mother-in-law.
We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 a phrasal verb more, and we are going to end with that part. So we are going to continue with them. Next one, get away with. Get away with. This one means escape punishment. So it's not like to escape from uh, your house or something like that. In this case, it's escape uh, from a uh, punishment. And we have the example. He cheated on the exam and then tried to get away with it. He cheated on the exam and then tried to get away with it. Next one. Get rid of, get rid of. And this one means eliminate. And we have the example. We must get rid of corruption. We must get rid of corruption. Keep up with, keep up with. This one means maintain pace with. We have the example. Slow down, I can keep up with you. Look forward to, look forward to. Anticipate with pleasure. Anticipate with pleasure. We have the example. I look forward to your next visit. I look forward to your next visit. Next one, look down on, look down on. And this one means Despise. And the sample said, he looks down on his subordinates. We are almost done, almost, almost done. Look in on, look in on. This one means visit somebody. Visit somebody. Example, we're going to look in our 
we are going to look in on your father. I mean, to look in on your father. Next one. Look up to, look up to. This one means respect. And we have the example. We all look up to him. We all look up to him. Make sure of, make sure of. And this one means verify. We have the example. And this one said, make sure of the identity of every visitor before you let him in. Make sure of the identity of every visitor before you let him in. And we have four, I mean, five more um, phrasal verbs, just five more. Then put with, put with up, Put with up. And this one means tolerate. And in the example we have, it is hard to put up with her little ways. Run out of, run out of. This one is Excel's supply. It's like ending all the material that you have. Example, we are running out of oil. We are running out of oil. Next one, take care of. Take care of. This one means be responsible for and look after. We have the example and it says, she takes, she takes care of her younger siblings. The last two. This one is talk back to, talk back to. This one means answer politely, answer politely. I mean impolitely. And 
And we have the example. It says, the teacher was really upset with the boy who talked back to her. And the last one. It says walk out on. Walk out on. This one means abandon. And the example, her husband, Walk out on her and their children. So there we have the uh, list of the most common uh, phrasal verbs or three word phrasal verbs that we have. And if you can see in this case, um, we have short meanings um, that we can use also to express those ideas. But in this case, we have like long sentences um, that we are using to express the things. And it could be like, oh, it's very complicated to use the three word phrasal verbs when we have short words. But you know that um, the thing with the language is that we need to have different uh, words to express the same idea. So in this case is to make um, or to have uh, different ways in which we can talk and express our ideas. So in that case, we have the phrasal verbs that are helping us to express uh, this kind of idea. So in this case, you have the long and short uh, words to talk about the same situation. Um, for example, take her off. We can change that uh, sentence. She takes, she, uh, I mean, she takes care of her younger siblings. We can just say she is responsible for her siblings. But in that case, we are using different words to express the same idea. As a, like another one, like uh, run out run out out of we can say like we are like um we don't have oil or we don't have enough oil or we are like having a little bit of oil so we have different words that we can use to express those um those ideas so in that case we are going to use the phrasal verbs to express that kind of um, ideas and in this case you have the meaning so you um, now know uh, what are the meanings of the phrasal verbs the three phrasal verbs the three word phrasal verbs and how to use in different uh, situations and also in different sentences so all of that information you have on the document so we are going to end this session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow in the last day of this week, number three. So remember that you have to work on the platform because tomorrow is going to be the last day of this, um, of this week. Have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.